we're going to use two brushes today. We're going to use an inexpensive two inch brush that could be bought at almost any store including Walmart or Home Depot. The other brush that we're going to use is a fan brush. I think the technique I'm going to show you now uh, it's the best way to create a green tropical mountain. The first thing I did was create the triangle that we did so you know what do you have there and then we're using the two inch brush you go ahead and tap. What, what you're doing when you're tapping straight down you're tapping with the brush straight they keep it straight like that and you create a texture on that mountain. The next thing you do is you're going to pick a different green a lighter green and apply it but you first have to clean that brush and make sure it's totally dry. I'm, tr I'm drying my brush at this moment. I washed it. I'm drying it really really well and I'm going to apply a lighter green. Here's the green that I have on the brush. You can see slightly lighter than what's there and I use the same technique. With this nice brush I'm going ahead and tap. Tapping and just tap so that you don't end up with any blotches. Oh, I should say patches. And just apply it the way we're doing here. You can twist and turn. Twist and turn your brush and you have now a slightly lighter green. Tap lightly and now you create a lighter green and you also created a nice texture. The next thing I'm going to do is use an even lighter green. So that will be my third green color. Pick a nice light green. Created that green and now I'm going to apply it throughout. Watch carefully again creating texture. Different places, you don't have to have it all over the same. But making sure that you have no dark patches. Okay, maybe turn here a little bit. Apply it. Apply it here. Maybe apply some here. Turn the brush around. Apply it in a different way. Now I look at it and see whether or not I'm satisfied. Whether it stands out enough. If I don't think that it does, then I go back and apply a little more. Creating some shapes different shapes as I go along. Turn it around. There we go. Let me see. Maybe I want to apply a little more. Lightly. Tap lightly. And maybe over here. Having done that, I will now allow that to dry for about 10 minutes before I apply the next color. I applied some of the yellow uh, about 15 to 20 minutes after the paint dried some. But let me go ahead and just show you what I did with that yellow. I'm going to get up close and I'm going to pick up the yellow. Let me pour a little bit of yellow here. Pick up the yellow. And with that yellow, I'm going to go ahead and just let you know what I did. But here is the sun. The sun is hitting in this area. So I applied some yellow here. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little more to thicken it up a little bit. There we go. And of course we had the sunlight hit this tree. So I applied some yellow without getting rid of the green that's underneath. Apply it a little bit there, a little, just tapping it. You don't want to tap to that, so you have the trees there. I went ahead 
and applied some yellow in some areas. Oh, too much white there. Here we go. Apply some of that yellow here. Thicken it out. That's okay. Make it look like the sun is really hitting hard there. The sun is managing to hit this area. So I'll put some, uh, some, uh, some of that yellow. Since it's, since it's still dry, it allows me to accentuate some of the areas with the yellow. There we go. Here maybe I'll just slide a little bit. Oh, let me just tap it. The idea is to create an effect uh, there of the mountain. But you see how the mountain begins to stand out. Maybe, let's see, maybe over here the sun manages to hit a little bit that area. Do I want to apply, to apply a little more yellow? I could. Now, having done that, I have to decide well, the next uh, one, more, one more thing I forgot to mention to you that I did add using the dark green by tapping. I added tapping with the edge of the fan brush, created little trees or the impression of little trees in this area. I'm just adding a little more so you can see it. And there we have the beginning of that mountain. Now I can. I also took some uh, brown, and I create a marble, marble look, and I added it around here. But just so you see what I did, I'm tapping this way, and maybe just maybe there's some somewhere on here, maybe between the the yellow here, you find some of that brown. Maybe there's a little bit of brown over here, just to kind of give the, the impression of some dirt in some of that mountain. Now, the last thing I would do with going back to the tinge brush, maybe just tap it a little bit to do a little blending in some areas. Not the whole thing, but some areas where maybe standing out too much, I want to blend a little bit. Blend there. And there we go, maybe around here, blend it a little bit. And you have now created a tropical green mountain.